A321 field trip. ATA27 flight controls. The aircraft has two flaps on the trailing edge of each wing to increase lift during takeoff and landing. The inboard and outboard flaps each have tabs attached to their trailing edges. The outboard flap is connected to the flap track carriage at the track 4 and 3 positions. The inboard is connected to the flap track 2 carriage and 1. Hinge mechanisms connect the trailing edge of the tab surface to the primary surface of the flap. Five hinge mechanisms connect the outboard flap tab to the outboard flap and three hinge mechanisms connect the inboard flap tab to the inboard flap. The tabs and flaps move in relation to each other during extension and retraction. The further the flap moves down the track, the greater the change in angle difference between flap and tab. Torque shafts and gearboxes in the fuselage and wings transmit the mechanical power from the flap PCU to the actuators, which move the flaps together with the tabs to the set position. Attached to the flap lower surface, at tracks 2, 3, and 4, is a linkage which operates the movable track fairing during flap extension and retraction. Fairings attached to the flap and tab lower surfaces cover the hinges at the 1A, 1B, 3A, 3B, and 3C positions. The inboard tab is attached to the rear spar of the flap at hinge 1A, hinge 1B, and at flap track 2. When the flaps move, the tabs are operated by a linkage connected from the shroud box assembly to the hinge 1A tab attachment bracket. the roller carriages of the tracks 2 to the tab attachment brackets. The flap link arms move the flaps along the tracks on the carriages. Control rods connected between the carriages 2, 3, 4 or hinge 1A and the tabs extend the tabs at the same time. The flap link arms turn the flaps around the lateral pivot axis. Shown here is the track 2 kinematic operation during inboard flap extension. Shown here is the hinge 1A kinematic operation during inboard flap extension.
Shown here is the hinge 1B kinematic operation during inboard flap extension. An interconnecting strut connects the inboard and the outboard flaps. Proximity sensors on the interconnecting strut send signals to inhibit the flap movement if the strut moves beyond a specified limit. It has these functions. It allows the inner and outer flaps to move independently within a specified limit. It gives a different load path for the flap drive system if there is an attachment failure, preventing inner and outer flap separation. It sends data to SFCC when the independent movement of the inner and outer flaps is more than a specified limit. It absorbs energy if a flap drive disconnect occurs. A cruise roller fitted on the inboard end of the outboard flap guided by the cam plates mounted on the wing structure. It guides the outer flap during retraction extension. A Z coupling located between the inner and outer flap during the retraction extension sequences and eliminates vibration.